Reprints, Ben. Reprints. Hello and welcome to the Cowboy for Game Yu-Gi-Oh! podcast. I'm your host, Jack. Today we are joined by Ben from Nolan TCG. Yes. Um, and because of the ban list, uh, we were going to have Lachlan in, but then he also got banned. Oh, yeah. But who are you? You didn't say I'm your host, Jake. I'm the band man. Ah. Oh. Sorry, bandman. That's how it's technically oh, pronounced. it is bandman. Bandman. Okay. Uh, so, um, yeah, I guess we'll go week in Yu-Gi-Oh! first before we get yeah, into we'll the get, big news. We'll get into the week uh, so how was your week, Ben? And I'll address this. Um, my week? Pretty good. Yeah. Locals on Tuesday, I played Super Heavy Samurai for the first time. What about Sunday, Ben? I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Okay. So, I played Super Heavy Samurai for the first time. Um, first two rounds went really, really fun. I got to play the deck, got comboed. I legitimately don't think... I I got to do full combo once all tournament, because I just got hand-trapped to shit. Mm-hmm. And I got mm-hmm. drolled a lot. <laughs> and I was like... Okay. And then I got shifted, and I was like... Okay. And then I got drilled again. I was like, okay. So yeah, I, I ate a lot of hand traps. Um, I ended up going 2 2. Like, I won my first two rounds, lost my last two. Um, I think I was drilled maybe seven times. <laughs> uh, I got shifted once. Um, gamma in the standby phase on the shifter was, on the gamma, on the draw was nice. Um, yeah. That's, a, that's an interaction that doesn't exist no more. Um, we'll, we'll get, get to that. that soon. Um, but then we come to today. Today was a good day. Yeah, we did uh, fun day at Locals. Yeah, today was Sunday fun day. Mm-hmm. And I was rewarded greatly. I played Dragon Mates, and I won. Won? Yeah. I definitely wasn't going to lose the final to someone who <laughs> wasn't doing Sunday fun day. And they were like, do you want to just split the prizes? And I was like... Sunday yes. fun day. Yes. <laughs> yes, I do. Uh, and then I pulled a starlight from my uh, my half of the box. Cap, no, not Cap and Carry. Ca- carry. I bought. I got the X. Carry a Carry. Like, yeah, that's the one. There's better starlights to have pulled, but any time you pull a starlight, you can't complain. Um. So yeah, I won locals. Won locals. And then you got Dragon Maze worked really well in mm. Sunday fun day. Mm. Um. I got to play against. All of the lore of Brandon. <laughs> really enjoyed that part. Uh, in my round two, I just played against, like, literally just branded lore deck. So it was like fusion, synchro, ec- did everything. Like, all the new stuff, all the old stuff, uh, apart from one part. Uh, so I got to enjoy all of that. And then I paired Jake in the next round, who was playing the rest of it. I'll get into and soon. I was just like, ah, oh, I got to enjoy all of this. Yes, and we know how much you love branded lore. Genuinely, though, my game, my round two, uh, game one, one of the most fun and interesting matches I've ever played. I it was, it was legitimately like a half an hour game one. Ooh. It was just like back forth, back forth, back forth, back forth. Um, adding a dragoon when you don't play the level seven because I cut the fire one. Because this is just my old build, ah. so I cut my fi- I cut the fire one, which is the dragoon out, like the simple dragoon out. So then I had to go into access code line and attack over it that way. Well, if you just make shoe, surely it's then big enough. Not if it's four K. Because the regular way is you bait the negate, you get to the seven, you discard it, add the two K, attack over. Couldn't do that. Um, yeah, couldn't do that. Got complicated. But I added it twice. I had to add it in two different games. Um, but yeah, we got there. And it was a fun day. It was a fun day. Hmm. Yes. Now, last Sunday. I, I was sick. Yeah, I know. People were missing you. People were asking about you at the, the place. And oh, they you, were? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. Sorry, I was sick. My bad. Um, who was asking? Uh, Steve, a um, couple other people, I think, um, Lachlan. Yeah, my bad. Sorry. I got sick and couldn't go. Big Satch. Lost yeah. to immune system. Yeah, I got too old by my immune system. That immune disorder came back and, and got me again. Sorry. Same thing happened to me last year. Yeah. It happens. Uh, Why now do they host these events in winter? It is right. really rude, isn't it? Yeah, we all just get sick. Yeah. 
Um, so my week. Uh, so on Sunday, I did go to States. Um, I have to say, it was probably one of the better events I've ever played um, for a multitude of reasons. Um, so by round five, I was going X1, so doing really well. I got dumpstered by Marinces in the first round, so I was feeling real bad. I just got hand-trapped to absolute fuckery, and then they had enough to get to the Spell and Trap Negate. It's like, oh, cool, so I can't even top deck Brain Infusion and Wind. I just die. Awesome. <laughs> Um, but then next round was uh, Trap Trick. I yep. was a bit concerned because back row decks I'm famously not a big fan of. Um, but he uh, just didn't, couldn't get his hand, head around how my board was working because I had everything going for me except for Gimmick Puppet Lock. I think that was the only thing I couldn't do to him. Yep. But I had like recurring um, Mirror Jade and all that kind of stuff. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, game three was against Drytron. Um yeah, that one was interesting. Um, Grave of the Super Ancient Organism came up, but I had Burning Dragon and he couldn't add it. Um, and yeah, I had Puppet Lock when he tried to actually do plays and he lost resources because of it, so that was very fun. Uh, game four was against Mathmec. He, again, uh, was duped somewhat by the Fusey Boys. Uh, didn't fully understand what they did. Um, the new ones? No, more so the old ones. I think it was Kyotis that um, oh. gave him the biggest issues. Because he Nibiru'd my board, um, then uh, Green Gwig Noel summoned the Kyotis, got rid of the Nibiru, yep. did the thing, did the thing. And he was doing Mathmec things. I didn't really care what he was doing. Um, sent the Kyotis at one point, um, which triggered the Aluba in the grave. And, no, what did it trigger? It triggered some stuff. Um, and then, yeah, he went to go attack for access code, double attack for game. But I had Bernie Dragon in the graveyard, so brought it back and chump blocked him from my life points. Mm. And he's like, ah, oh, I'll just lose from here. Then he scooped. Because he put all his resources into making access code and then died. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, so that was up to round five. And then round six, rounds, rounds six and seven, I just got outdone by Floodgates and didn't see the outs. And, yes. yeah, current build of Branded is not a heavy draw engine type thing. Um, so if I don't have the outs, I won't see the outs. Mm, there life happens yeah and the other reason i'm not playing like the similar builders to what i was before with a lot of sort of draw and sort of get through the deck kind of stuff is yeah. purely because droll is so heavy in this format there's no real point to playing all that stuff yeah and it's, with the current build like realistically if i cut the two drolls that i was maining at the time it would be a 40 card deck so it'd be super consistent which is all i really wanted to do um so yeah that was uh the, the regionals i think i ended up coming 37 states oh states sorry States, I ended up coming 37th. Almost um, got your double invite. Almost. Yeah, well, look, the aim was to try and get into top 32 because I didn't mind the mat. Um, but, yeah, just missed out because of uh, floodgates, which is real fun. Kurt got his invite, though. He did get his invite. He came 24th. He needed his invite, and that was his pretty his much the last, last chance was the last to chance. get it. So and very happy it. for the lad to have got there. Uh, well done. Well done. Um, yeah, so then the rest of the week, uh, Tuesday... Uh, ooh. What happened Tuesday? I don't remember Tuesday that much. Yeah, I don't remember Tuesday. We played either. in round two. We did. I think a lot. You did, yeah. You drolled me and I still killed you. Yeah, I was seeing too many hand traps and not enough engine yeah. in a lot of my games. Um, even against Leo when he was playing um, Super Heavy, I think it was. Yeah, I saw triple droll in my opening hand. Hmm. I drolled him on the following turn and then he <laughs> attacked into a set troll. <laughs> Like, it was bad. I just opened utter garbage. Why don't you normal summon the droll and turn into the relinquished animal and take his monster? Because he knows well enough not to summon them into zones. Also, you weren't playing it. That too. Yeah. Yeah, it do be a leak. Yeah, it's a problem. Mm. Yeah. Uh, but then on Thursday as well, we got uh, some games going over at Grimdark. Um, ended up winning that one. Um, people were under the idea that it was going to be a fun sort of test day. I couldn't find the core of the deck that I wanted to play for the Sunday, so uh, to make it l less unfun, I guess you could say, I took out the puppet. So it was still, it was still branded Despia. Don't worry, guys. I just... I'm playing the fun build. <laughs> See? My puppet's over there. <laughs> Look, it was more fun, but and it was more fun for me. I actually don't like playing the puppet. The only reason I played the puppet at all is because we had upcoming events and I wanted to do well, and that seemed to be the best way to do that. So I'm actually probably going to just remove the puppet from now on. So you... So, so on Thursday... Yes. 
you played at a locals where the guys was to have fun. Yes. So you didn't play Puppet. Yes. Because you wanted to practice for major events. Yes. Which were four days prior. I hadn't built the other deck, is what I'm saying. I had fully intended no, 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 to take a different you, you deck. No, no, like, no, 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 no. I, I I first... What I said is that I intended to take a different deck and I couldn't find it. So in order to make it more or less unfun, no, 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 I no, took you, out you the puppet. These things. I'm arguing that you just said that you wanted to prepare for major events, so you wanted to play the deck anyway. Yeah, and I took the puppet out, and I'll probably keep the puppet out as well. I don't there like no playing the puppet. There ain't no major events to test for, Jake. There is. It's called Oceanics, you motherfucker. Uh, there is, it is Oceanics, but this is spoiling the fact that you didn't play puppet because it got hit on the ban list. Did it? It did. You can use the monster all you want. It's fine. And I will. No, okay. Anyway. Um, you can and respond then... to the monster. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Nah. Mm, a little. Mm, a little. No. It's fine. Anywho. Uh, so... On, um, I can't remember what I was saying now. Yes, today. today. Um, so today was Sunday fun day, uh, and I did find the core of the deck I want to play, which was Dogmatica Ritual. Uh, I've been wanting to play that deck for a very long time. Uh, ripping the extra deck apparently isn't that fun, but it was fun for me. Um, I wasn't playing the best build either. I needed pre-preps and I couldn't find them in time, so I was just playing like tactics and thrusts to hopefully get me to the things that I needed. Um, but yeah, I had a lot of fun with that deck, so I might play it a few more times before I pack it away and prepare for Oceanics. Uh, Sorry, I'm still waiting for Nathan to upload Dinos onto Nikijo Collectibles and to code on 5 <laughs> and check out 5% off your order. Um, they're coming. Yes. He said they were coming today. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, moving on. Uh, so rather than starting with Master Duel, we will start with the biggest news of the week, which is the impending ban list. Uh, so that dropped about 3 a.m. this morning 3 for this us. morning for us. Uh, so a, Middle a of a round. Yeah, I was going to say, mid, mid YCS Philadelphia, which apparently caused absolute chaos. Imagine just sitting there making your super heavy samurai board and then a notification comes up saying, like, in a week, your deck will be dead. someone in the room just fucking got to yell, BAN LIST! And everyone, like, quickly went to check their phones. Yep. And then you shark your opponent because they've opened their phone and they're not meant to have access to the internet while they have their phones open. You're on a Konami-sanctioned website. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, so, yes, uh, so it'll be coming into effect as of June 5th, which will be not this coming Monday, but the one after. Um, Sunday, Funday 2, Electric Boogaloo. I mean, yeah, the format's effectively uh, redundant post-Sunday, so I might, just might play as well. literally two completely fucking batshit random decks this week. Just mm, spicy, spicy. change my deck for every Locals. I mean... You haven't changed them for locals for a good month and a half, and, and now you're going to be like, change! <laughs> to be fair, I changed last week, and I only got to play one locals with that deck. True. Very true. Fucking, I can't believe I can hit Super Heavy Samurai so hard. They, well, that's the thing. It's kind of hard, but it's also not. Like, no, it's, it's hard. It is, but it's not, it's not unplayable. It's just no longer the meta threat that it was. It's really, like, this hit is genuinely really bad i realize this but anyway we'll get into yeah. it so uh on the forbidden we have cyberstein the uh super heavy samurai scarecrow number 89 diabolosis uh a pointer of the red lotus and branded expulsion and i think they could have just so oh, sorry i'll bring it up in front of me as well I, I have it here i genuinely think that they could have just banned cyberstein and that was the only hit that needed to happen to super heavy and I also think they probably shouldn't have touched Melfi at all either. Granted, the Melfi card they hit, interesting card they hit. Like, I completely get the reason why they hit them. We're going to talk about that in a second. But I think, yeah, they probably... Jumping ahead. They could have just banned Cyberstein, because it deals with the FTK. That card should have been dealt with a long time ago, to be honest. Every time we've seen an FTK come up that's not Samurai-related... No, this one's Samurai-related. <laughs> the other Samurais? <laughs> uh, it's always involving Cyberstein. Because you just fucking summon the burny ones from the extra deck, and then you know, get the psychic buff and no deck the damage, and you go boop, 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 boop. not once per turn. Is that? Yep. Two X prize cards hit on the same list. Brad brought that up this morning. Yes, two prize cards got hit. Very interesting. Probably the best two prize cards ever. Well, Crush Card was good. Crush Card was pretty good. good. Minerva had its time. The rest um, have been yeah. relatively trash. And this is why prize cards should not be relevant. I want them to be vanillas for the rest of time. Ugh. Um, so anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. They could have just banned Cyberstein. 
and I think that would have been enough to. But have... was the FTK variant of the deck the more prevalent or the more problematic? I don't know if it was. I think Can it was I the fact that you could to just Ben and Ben was saying, "Look, they both lose the same hand traps, so just play the FTK." Oh, so they yeah, so they it's your fault. Yeah, yeah totally. Sure, my fault. My bad. Super heavy samurai players of the world. This I is the man that you them. wish to be. It's the deck that I wanted to build. And here we are. Yep, you got to move on. Uh, speaking of moving on, um, well, actually, no, before we move on, um, just quickly, a point of the Red Lotus is really weird. Like, I suppose with Thrust, it is a somewhat searchable one of, yeah. and then your opponent's dropped a card from their hand, and you get to view another one and, like, make it very not fun to play. Potentially with the talents in hand as well, you've taken another one. <laughs> like, <laughs> imagine playing with a three card hand going into imagine. your turn, <laughs> and your opponent knows every one of them. Mm. Um, not pretty um and yeah uh so, expulsion again they have a monster that they can do it with it's still potentially viable but it does involve a lot more running around a lot more nonsense my assumption is unless someone does find a way that is super consistent and um yeah you don't lose out too much on it so, it probably won't be a puppet build anymore i think as as well for that deck to play around and I guess make it more consistent to do the puppet with the monster more often you probably need to play a lot more other bricks like bricks that you don't necessarily want to search well yes and no realistically because the, the reason you dramatic. can still do it again is because the newest Albion the um, supremacy whatever the fuck it's called um, the white does supremacy it... dragon <laughs> a little bit um, is what? he does the same thing but because you more than likely make him off turn, you can do it under lost, in which case your opponent cannot respond. Yeah. That's okay. So, but in order to do that, you have to get other pieces as well as searched yeah. in place. So, well, like, the lost is easy. Like, if you resolve Brand of Fusion, then you have lost. You get ashed, you get ashed. That is how the deck works. Yeah. Um, uh, Diablos, we all do those. That card should have gone. Yeah. 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 And was... I'm glad that it did. I was impressed that this card had never actually seen play until now. Yeah, it had very niche interactions. I remember there were some early Mermel lists going around when it was actually still just a prize card. Mm. <laughs> I had always just disregarded that card. I'd always just been like, not going to read it. It's a prize card, it's probably shit. And here we were playing it, and now it's on the ban list. <laughs> I mean, most prize cards that have been relevant have been decent within the time frame they've released. Link Dragon. I said most, not all. Just Four. most. Four, 4 out of 12. 14? 16? 20? Chaos Empire? Oh, uh, that's fine. Yeah. That was pretty good. Pretty good card. Search Thunder Dragons. Thunder mm. Dragons win. And then Giant Hand as well. No, not Giant Hand. What's the other one? Giant Hand. Uh, is it Giant Hand? Giant the one hand. I was thinking of? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking of the big machiny thing. Because that was also a thing. The Hand? No, no, no. The big wheel. Oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But Giant Hand was also playing. Giant Hand was also a thing. Anyway, uh, moving on to Limited, we have uh, Blaster, Ruler of Infernos, uh, Mathematics Circular, which I actually um, just noticed. Uh, oh, really? <laughs> I was unaware of this. Oh. And I think I said earlier in the chat that, like, oh, nothing happened to Salad. Yeah. <laughs> Math make up on the Salad. Yeah. Uh, Cyframe Gamma, Denlong, First of the Yang Zing, Kashira, Rise Heart, Pearly Delicious Memory, and Naturia Sacred Tree. Do we want to take that from the top and work our way down? Yep. Uh, Blaster, we knew that was happening. We, uh, we knew that was happening. Still good for it to have happened. Yeah. Look, it's fine. When they look at a ban list, um, look at a yeah card on the ban list and say, look, it's well past time that this is a problem. It can come back. It's fine. When they look at cards that are on the ban list and go, this will probably be a problem, but we'll give it back anyway. That's going to come up later. Mm-hmm. Uh, so, Mathematics Circular. I can understand this. Um, the fact that it's just constant free rank four... But I don't think Mathmec was the, the fourth deck of the format. And judging by this, Mathmec is the fourth deck of the format. It was pretty good. It was, like, I'm not saying it's not a good like, deck. It has been getting consistent tops. I don't know if it's ever been winning, but it's definitely been getting tops. Yeah. And with the newest load of support, they have a lot more that they can go into. There's, like, off-turn negation that they didn't have before, as well as, like, the whole ripping of hand and field and another negate. Like, it can do a lot. I thought that was all old support. Did they get more support? 
indirectly, the new firewall stuff. Oh, that doesn't come out yet. No. It is out. But that's out? Yeah. Ah, I haven't noticed it. Cyberstorm Access? Ring a bell? Uh, I thought it was in Duelist Nexus. No. Because you Nexus into the Vrains. No. I like that we're still getting sets named after Vrains because they just don't have another option. That's a, that's a point for another day, Konami. Good job. Um, uh, today you did a decent job. Mm. Uh, yeah, Cyber Gamma. Gamma is interesting. The OCG have had it at one for a while as well, right? Uh, I think it's a two. It's a two on Master Duel, but I, I think, think it went to one in the OCG. I, think, uh, it's, I don't know. It's hit. But so, yeah, this card is obnoxious. I like the idea of Gamma going to one. If you're banning Shifter. Mm, that's true. Yeah, like, I think if you limit Gamma, you need to ban Shifter. There's The more time goes by, the more Shifter is becoming the most broken card that we got of those three. Yep. And here we are. Yep. It's uh, Jesse. Jesse in the chat, by the way. Jesse uh, tried to uh, clutch it and then messaged me to say, uh, ban list is out, don't check the chat. I did say this, yeah. You did? I saw it in the... Um... No, 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 not our Jesse. No, no, no. Our Jesse. I... No, no, no. I oh, know. This Jesse. Yeah, 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 I saw it in the Cowboy for Game chat. Oh, no, he, he personally messaged me. Oh, he messaged you directly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, maybe it was 6x6 that messaged. Yeah. Someone messaged you in the Discord and said, like, and tags you both in, like, the non-main channel and being like, don't look at the main channel. There's a ban list out. So my main problem was... I opened up Facebook in the morning. First thing I did was just open Facebook to check Facebook itself. Uh-huh. Ban this, ban this, ban this. <laughs> No, sorry. I had something else to do. Because I had other things to organise this morning. So I opened up my phone, messaged that person. Um, and then, then opened Facebook. And then was like, oh, Diablo? Oh, ban this. Close. <laughs> I only saw Diablos. And that's fine. Yeah. Um, yeah, where were we? Circumventing gamma. back. Yeah, Gamma. Shifter. You should have banned Shifter if you're limiting Gamma. Yeah, um, and it was predicted, but didn't happen. Very like, sad. Yes, you can call by it, but you only get one call by it. And you and ain't also, playing Gamma no more. And if it's happening off turn, you can't. What? Like, if your opponent's going first and oh, drop Shifter and on you. Should... Yeah, that's fine. Look, here we are. This is an issue. I think maybe the thought is that you've hit Cash Tira, so it's not that big of an issue. But this probably going to show up in other decks. It probably gives a buff to Exorcister. They yeah. quite they function quite well off that. Like, they honestly don't give a shit if any of their shit's vanished. Yeah. We'll have to see how this plays out, I guess. We're mm. in the situation we're in. Yep. And, yeah. Uh, next one. Denglong. I'm frightened. I'm fine with this. Me and Andrew have been having a little bit of back and forth this afternoon in regards to Denglong going to one. Um... Oh, wait, no, Dino, fucking play it. Oh, my God. No, it's it's okay. It's not that usable. Because playing the Denglong takes away other lines. So it makes things awkward. Like, you can play a Denglong build, or you can play another build. Um, both lose... To the, everything loses the same hand traps. It's what you want to see on your own board. Uh, you get, like, the double negate off the Denglong. But the other build gives you the ability to kill your opponent next turn. So, like... You take off... Yeah, it's weird. It's gonna be weird. And, like, Sword Soul has access to it. Just general Synchro decks have access to it. It's just it's a scary time. I don't like it. It's a, it's not as prevalent as you'd think in the OCG, so it's like, it's okay. It's an old mechanic, or, I guess, setup that exists in the game. They miss timing as well. Eh. Yeah. Eh. Yeah. Next year. A Rise Heart. Surprising. Understandable. Like, completely understandable. It makes kaijus this format, and the next hit on the ban list, makes kaijus this format very good. Mm -hmm. Like, they are better than what they were last format. They were already good last format. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now it's, you have the answer. Off you go. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, delicious memory. And that brings us to this. So, uh, slows down their ability to draw a fuckload of cards. Yes. Um, makes things a fair bit more awkward. Uh, and, again, they don't draw as many cards. The kaiju you're going to drop on them becomes a lot more valuable. Yes. It's like, cool. Did I win? Yes? No? Okay. Yeah. 
These these two hits specifically make Kaiju's this format very good. Yeah. Yeah. And then uh Naturia Sacred Tree. We haven't seen a lot of Naturia Runic all that nonsense yeah. players here in Oceana. Oceania that's the one. Yeah. But card doesn't say once per turn. True. It's fine. Put it on the main list. It could possibly be good and doesn't say once per turn. Go away. <laughs> yeah. Get rid of it. Next, we have the semi limits, and in not particularly, uh, yeah, in not TCG fashion, they've gone ham. Yeah. This is a very OCG looking semi limit list. <laughs> it's strange. Mm. So we start with Herald of Orange Light, uh, Kashira Unicorn, Lightning Storm, Runic Fountain, uh, Sprite Starter, and my least favorite of all of these, Sky Striker Mobilizing Gauge. I think the cards that went to two. Uh, went from band to oh, three to two, should have just gone to one, except for Lightning Storm. I don't think that should have been there at all. No. Um, engage going to two, is stupid. And they get stupider as we go. Yeah. Why can't they let that deck die? Just let it. It doesn't need to exist. Let it fall gracefully into the pages of history, and let it be done. Like, why? Because if you give them an inch, they will take a fucking mile. To be fair, also makes kaijus better this format. True. Yeah, just kaiju them. It's fine. Just kaiju them. Hopefully this does the Dryden thing of they give it to two, it gets a little bit bonkers, and then they go, that was a mistake. We're going to take that one back. Back we go. Yeah. Put it all back. Yeah. Kagari to one. Um, Herald of Orange Light's fine. Like, just put it to three. Yeah. It's like, now your dragoon the only... out. Are uh, your shifter out? Yeah, and like, there's very few decks that can main it and sort of get a lot of value off it. Like, mm. you've got Drytron, Medolce. If someone's brave enough, they can be running it again in um, <laughs> Tier Element, I guess. Um, Cashier, we're going to go to two. Yep. Should have been in one. Yep. Uh, Shadow should have been in one. Startup should have been in one. Yep. Pretty old. And Lightning Storm should not be touched. Um, yeah, should, should just be a three. No need to put it to two. Dumb. And then Unlimits. Um, again, a few of these, and some of them I appreciate, some of them not so much. Yeah. Um, Blackwing, Weird. Steam the Cloak. Junex, Ally, Birdman. Ally? I do that every fucking time. It is um, Ally, Birdman. It's Ally. Ally, Birdman. Attorney at law. Oh, I knew you were going to say that too. You're <laughs> so fucking dumb. <laughs> uh, uh, Samsara, Lotus. Uh, Spiral Quick Fix, Lyrilisk Reciting Recital Styling, Draco Face Off, and Sky Striker Mecha Modules Multi Roll. So I'm fairly sure two of these cards are infinite loops. Uh, Samsara Lotus, I think so. Um, I can't remember what its revival condition is. I think it's like if you have no things in your graveyard. Let's have a look. Uh, during your infinite loops, if you control no spell or trap, special summon this card from your graveyard and face up attack position. Uh, and then the control of this card takes a thousand damage during each of their standby phases. Plant level one. Was this super heavy samurai support? What did, what benefit do they get of a monster coming back? Ah, uh, it says no spell and trap cards. <laughs> Were they like, sorry guys? Eh. <laughs> he is a token of our. You are it, dead. It's if you control no spell and trap cards, yeah. Correct. Not once per turn. So if you have a way to get it off the board still in the end phase of the turn, it will so do it's it again. So Topologic Bomber Dragon. Well, I think that was the thing that it got banned for initially, but it was... Um, the... No, was same, that was the other one. That was Phoenix Oh, that was Phoenix yeah. Amaryllis. Because that does the same thing, except it does 300 damage every time it leaves. Yeah, okay. Surely there's a way to ping your opponent whenever... No, nah, but... Oh. Is there a way to summon something that whenever something gets destroyed... Pings your opponent for damage, but then also make that card not being able to destroy by card effect. And then you can just, like, ping the Samsara Lotus. The main thing I'm thinking of is with Topologic Bomber, and if you can find a way to, like, oh, every time something happens, burn your opponent. Yeah, this is I the same logic. Th- yeah, I just can't think of what it is. Just the bomber would also kill the other monster. So that monster also needs to be protected. That's assuming it's a monster. Well, you can't have spot traps. Oh, Otherwise, yeah, Samsara Lotus doesn't come back. Okay, so maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. We'll find out soon. Um, yeah, Blackwing, Steam, Cloak, have? that's fine. It was already at one. It was Should have gone three, yeah. At one, yep. doesn't matter. Um, Ally Birdman is a loop, um, yes. and it's now consistent between the searches and the fact that we have it at three. Um, but again, it's just... 
finicky with how you have to do it. I don't, I don't think it's going to be Loses to shift up. That's why it's legal. True. Yeah. Don't want to give them the just gamma. the new gamma. Yeah. Just drop shifter and don't lose. Yeah. Uh, quick fix is fine as long as you don't bring back the fat bitch. Um, yeah, everything can be a three. Master plan's banned. Like, yeah. Put it all back. Uh, recital Starling, again, it was a two. Was doing nothing. Uh, two is the same as that card being a three. Yeah. Wait, was it a two on the last list? Yeah. Yeah, it went to two. Okay. Uh, Draco face off. That card could have come off a long time ago. It could have come off when they first got the support, and it would have mattered. Um, so it's nice that they've got it now, at least I guess. Could be um, a good deck this format. Yeah, potentially. Like it, it lose to shift. Yes, pendulums absolutely lose to shift. Well, lose to shift us. So... <laughs> <laughs> Everything just loses to shift. Why thing. did they leave that card? <sighs> and How do I play uh, on shifter. You don't. You don't. <laughs> That's the neat part. You don't. Uh, and Mecha Modules multi roll. I, again, don't think we need it. Just leave it. Should it should just, just leave it. Stay, they both should have stayed at one. Uh, so Give there's them three cards back. Three? <laughs> Engage to one and then the two multi rolls. Oh, yeah. Fair. Yeah. Seb's over there just chilling with a huge smirk in his face, like, yes, three cards. Uh, so, it is a bit of a shake-up to the meta. Three more spells. No. You're already getting two other Link monsters. Shut up. Let's give them a chicken game. Give everybody a chicken game. Um, so, it is a bit of a shake-up to the meta, because like, most of the big decks have been hit. Um, so, we're going to be in a period, I guess, until something sort of blows away or new combos are found, that we're just sort of like, anything can win if it hits the right cards it's gonna be an awkward format this wcq season is possibly one of the most awkward wcq seasons ever like last last year's one was weird but it wasn't a proper wcq season yeah this one is yeah oh. and yeah we've got what um uh, just over a month to figure out the format before our oceanics yeah it's gonna be weird like everyone's wcqs are in a month um yeah, I guess it's not like as much as I say hey, dinosaurs is gonna be good and we'll play dinosaurs, dino, 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 dino is probably not gonna be the best. It could be with all of these hits, decent, but you know. Well, the thing is, it still loses to the same things it used to lose to. Like if you ash the misc summoning from deck, that hurts a lot. Uh, it doesn't hurt so much anymore because that new search spell destroys from hand. Mm, true. So you're just like, I've already gone full combo before I didn't even need the misc. Um, mm. yeah the misc's very much just like a, this is just an extra extender that I have interesting yeah interesting um, and oh, we'll get into the other thing I was going to say oh, shortly uh, we, we know what the best deck is it's fucking it's lab labyrinth is... yeah that's the other thing I was going to say the fact that they haven't brought Brad Re red reboot they brought lightning storm to two and they didn't get rid of skill drain it's going to be a very trap-heavy format, and Labyrinth has proven itself over the course of regionals and states to be one of the best trap decks, if not the best trap deck in the format at the moment. Can you play Shifter in Lab? Uh, yeah, you can. Like, realistically, it's trap deck. You just fucking throw the Shifter down. Yeah, you lose whatever traps you activate you in the first cards. turn. But if you're activating Skill Drain, you're not losing anything. Yeah, exactly. You Shifter them, flip Skill Drain. If you get evenly matched, that's probably going to suck because you're not going to have the recursion. Yes. But, oh well. It's trap decks, so fuck you. No recursion. <laughs> yeah, you're not supposed to have recursion. <laughs> it's meant to be trading. But yeah, that's probably, it's probably a Labyrinth format. Labyrinth's also getting reprinted next month. Is it? Um, yep. Labyrinth is getting reprinted in our Battles of Legend. Oh. Yep. So we're getting that mid-June, I believe. So maybe after that they start hitting Let's lab cards. double check that. Maybe that's the reason why the spam list looks the way it does, is because they need to sell them. True. Actually, that's a very true point. Um, release and they don't plan on. Oh, that's a good point. They don't plan on reprinting Lightning Storm because there's going to be an abundance of them available now. Yes. Um, 22nd of the 6th is the lab reprint. Okay. I think they're reprinting everything but oh, that that's... new main Oh, star. you know what? That's actually going to ruin Oceanics because Labyrinth yes. will be ludicrously available happy birthday, everyone Jake. will have it happy birthday so look i'm gonna be drunk as hell 
Or Come tournament long? The night. Oh, maybe. <laughs> we'll, Let's we'll, do a we'll see. We'll, we'll see. If I versed more than two lab by round four, I may start just ducking over to the bar. We'll see. Before, but I wouldn't be intoxicated because that would be against the rules. That would be against Konami policy. Mm. Yes. yes. We would never consent to doing that. <laughs> consent. Um, so You have to always give consent. Yes, yes, you do. That, that was a poor taste joke. I just want to maybe clarify that. I'm not happy with that joke. You're editing the podcast. If you take it out, it's like it never happened. No, no, no. I'll leave it in. I just want to... Yeah. That's maybe a little bit of poor taste. So, um, moving quickly over to Master Duel. We are two days from the end of the uh, Master Duel WCQ. Um, so, I got to stage one, uh, but I have had no time to invest into getting into stage two. Um, oh, that was a thing? Yeah. Yeah, oh. the last three days have been, well, t yesterday, today, and tomorrow are stage two, in which you get as much points as you can, and then the point leader of each region picks their team to go to Worlds. Oh, that's a really short amount of time. Yes. I didn't play it at all. I maybe played five games, missing just to get some on gems the, here. Yeah, I was going to say, you're missing out on all the gems. I just saw a couple of gems, and I was like, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah. yep. But clearly, by the time I started playing it, everyone who was playing it seriously was long gone. Because I logged in and was like, I'll play to relevant. And then I paired fucking Dark Magician one game and was like... Oh. I first a Dark Magician really high up as well. It was really odd. I wasn't expecting it. Yeah, I paired like Dark Magician and something else. And I was like, this is... Why? I lost one game. And by lost one game, I was playing while I was at the barbers waiting at my haircut. And they were like, you're up. And I was like... Close. <laughs> So yeah, that's where that's up to. Um, uh, we are also about five or six days from a new pack dropping. Oh, um, nice. Yeah, the the power of nature or whatever it is is going away and will be replaced by something else. Cash Tira? Not likely. I think there's a few other um, things that sort of get in the way before that. Fireman. Maybe Fireman. Fireman. Not likely know. Fireman, but mayhaps. Um, Fireman so, best deck? Question mark? Did they lose to Macro? Yeah. <laughs> However, they also haven't got their new support yet. True. It's still a little while from that, isn't it? Three months. Um, so, um, I suppose one thing... Uh, what? We'll edit around it, I guess. Um, edit around it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not editing around shit. Okay, then I won't mention the leaks that um, other people have found, and definitely not us. Other people found leaks... It's fine. You may say the leaks, Jake. What's the worst that could happen? We get banned? Yeah. I thought Leading it was, up to Oceanics. I thought it was the leaker got banned. Well, that's the thing. I don't know. That's why I was saying if it's a problem, we can edit around it. What's the what's the, what's the leak? It's just um, some of the... Just cards... tell me. <laughs> There's nobody else here. No, it's all right. We've got other news we can talk about. Um, just tell me, Jake. No, I'll tell you later. Anyway... Um, so, we have the last card that has been announced for Salaman Great, uh, to tie in all their support, make them really great, um, this is in the physical card game, not in Master Duel. Uh, it is Salaman Great of Fire. Uh, it is a level 2 Cybers, uh, attack and defense both 800. If it's normal special summoned at a level 4 or lower Salaman Great monster from your deck, except itself. And also, you cannot special summon monsters for the rest of the turn, except Fire. I respected you as a journalist until this exact second. What's your problem? You didn't want to leak the thing and then you talk about a fucking Salaman great piece of shit? God's I, garbage. Yeah, and I'm bringing it up because of that. It's it's historically bad. It's really shit. And when people are like, oh, but you can search this and... No. The whole Just play Master. The whole benefit of cyber decks is that they're interchangeable for the most part. You can just throw them at the board and make whatever... Mm. And it all does kind of the same thing. Use Mega Six good. Well, turn two, yes. But even like going first, you just throw a bunch of shit at the board. It all kind of does the same thing. They all mix in together. Blah 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 blah. That's why Circular went to one, by the way, because every cyber deck was using it almost yeah. better than Mathmec. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like this doesn't help. It hinders, if anything. It's fine. It, in the grand history of cards, this is a card. <laughs> yes, certainly is this is in fact cardboard um 
Also uh, coming up. Can't deny it that. Uh, speaking of cardboard, we have the upcoming uh, Jack Atlas Strush deck has been announced for the TCG. It's not oh. getting separated into bits. Oh. We are actually getting a box of cards. Oh. Uh, so in Sorry, a... I should be less surprised. <laughs> but I'm not. Uh, so we're getting five ultras, three supers, 41 commons. So a total deck of 49 cards, which is quite generous. I noticed this when I was opening the structure decks the other day, that you get more ultras than supers now. I yeah, you like, get a lot of ultras. It used to be a case of like you just got like three ultras, that was a lot. Yeah, three ultras, five supers. Yeah, now it's I kind of would just prefer it to just be five supers, three ultras. It's <laughs> dumb making it more ultras. That's fine, that's fine. Um, so I'm kind of looking forward to this structure deck. Because yeah, um, you still haven't built your fucking red resonator deck. I'm missing a couple things, okay? Just a couple things. And also, shut up. <laughs> Nothing's going to beat your fucking Stardust anyway. You set up Satellite off turn and it's fucking boring. Except for when the Black Wings do the take. Or you just negate it with Hot Red Dragon Arch Fiend Abyss. Oh yeah, because you'd let me get that far before I summon it? Shut the fuck up. No, because you can do it on my I can do it on my turn as well and then clear board. Yeah, but I'm not going to be able to get that far. Anyway. It's fine, Jake. Just hand trap. Oh yeah, the things you're not letting us play in that format? Yeah, cool. Uh, so, moving on to uh, the upcoming Wild Survivors. So that releases this coming Thursday? Uh, yes, this comes out on Thursday. Once again, I'm going to check NikijoCollectibles.com <laughs> uh, enter code Nolan5 at checkout uh, for 5% off your dinosaurs. So, um, the most interesting thing about this set, aside from upload. dinosaurs, is the allocations of ultras. Um, I really like it. Traditionally, it was a case that every archetype in it got three ultras and then one of them got a random one, whichever one was semi-more popular or just one that they decided needed one and then the collection, collector's rares, blah, 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 blah. Yes. For whatever reason, in this one, they have given seven of the ten ultra rare slots to Vanquish Soul. And then they didn't ban Vanquish Soul on the ban list. Conspiracy? I think not. It's really weird. Like, deck cores are going for, like, nearly $700 for pre-orders, effectively, which is ridiculous for a deck that we don't even know if it's going to be good in the TCG. Like, it it'll, be, it'll be fine, but it's not going to be meta. In a respectable format where every deck is as good as each other, it could maybe win. Around. I don't think it's at as. Locals. I don't think it's that bad. No, like, you're making it out to be very bad, and I don't. It's think a two-two it is. deck. Look, it could do fine. It's a two-two deck. But to allocate so many expensive cards to it is just absurd. Can it play shifter? I think so. Can it play around shifter? I think so. A lot of its stuff sort of just bounces. Meta. Meta deck. It's really weird. I don't know why they've done this. Uh, but there are some cool collector's rares, uh, so like, we're getting... What? I'm, I'm not complaining about this at all. Like, dinosaurs is cheap. Yeah, that's... Yeah, that's, that's the thing. problem. Yeah. Uh, so, Soul Leading Over, Raptor, UCT, and I think and Madorned Archosaur are all getting collector's rares, which is quite nice. Yeah. Um, that's cute. What's another one? A generic one. Tanky getting collector's rare. I think we kind of... I think... It wasn't known, but it was sort of known. Uh, Hungry Burger, which is really funny. Um, Fossil Dig, also Collector's Rare. Maybe that's what they're trying to do. So they knew they were getting all of the Collector's Rares over to Dinos for them to rarity bump and get some nice cards that are like, well, let's just make all the expensive stuff for like the, the normal cards in the other archetype that people will play. Because no one's got to play the Ritual archetype. And I'm okay <laughs> with this. <laughs> Um, yeah, those are the main ones. Um, oh, I think Tikaboo got a, uh, thing over a run. I'm okay with that. Like, it's not a cool thing to have in the game. They've but... done all of the floodgates in Collector's Rares that they've reprinted in this. Side sets are for that, floodgate losers. That's why they confirmed. didn't hit Lightning Storm. That's why they hit Lightning Storm. Because they don't want people Starlights, or not Collector's Rares, going to Grave. But they have Starlight Lightning Storm. Hmm. There's some confliction over at Roger and Derek's house. Yes, we need to ask them immediately why they're doing this. Uh, speaking of asking questions, we move on to our Discord. Uh, link will be in the description below. Feel free to jump in and say hi and ask us some questions. That's what they call in the business a great fucking segue. Yes. Uh, so the first question this week comes to us from Jesse. Uh, it's a little redundant, admittedly. 
uh, admittedly. Uh, Bearless prediction changes. <laughs> uh, well, you nope. see. Well, actually, I predict uh, these two screenshots that I have right here, and I'm 100% correct. I want our bandless predictions. I think it was done so long ago. Yeah, none of us even thought to hit Melvi or six samurai cards. No, not at all. Super heavy samurai. Uh, we have. I said, f- I said fucking both wrong. <laughs> a little bit. Ah. Uh... Uh, so we have a question. I, I'm not 100% sure. I think this might have been... Oh, uh, maybe not. I, the name is Mitochondria, but I think it might be Mira. I think. Oh, no. Fire away, Jake. Uh, so, question. Uh, we've made fun of what Yugi Boomers say plenty of times uh, yeah. before. What are some of the funny shit that Yugi Zoomers tend to say? Um, That's a good question. Hmm. Yeah. I think... It's maybe not Yugi Zoomers in general. I think it's just um, new players, new-ish players. Um, the whole like, if I didn't lose, I could have won. Uh, argument they make after a round. Everyone says that when they're new to the game. It's just funny. That's why you don't shake your top deck. Never shake your top deck. I'm gonna tell you this all the time. If you lost, just fuck it. Accept that you lost. Don't look at your top deck. You will only feel worse. If it's a good card, you feel bad. If it's a shit card, you feel bad. Guess what? You feel bad. Um, yeah. I feel like I have a witty response to this, but no. The problem is we don't listen to the Yugi Zoomers, so we don't know what they're saying. Yeah. Actually, what does Josh say? He's surely a Yugi Zoomer. Everything's bad. Or everything's good. Yeah. Everything Both that, opinions every, are wrong. Everything that he does is good, which is wrong, and everything that everyone else does is bad. Which is wrong. Which is also wrong. What do you reckon is going on on Yu-Gi-Oh! TikTok? I don't want to know. Fucking Asian Eyes is still making content there. I don't want to know about it. Yes. Whatever's on Yu-Gi-Oh! TikTok, that's what we find that's, annoying. That's what they're saying. Um, next question is from 6 Art 6 Do you envision yourself playing Yu-Gi-Oh! into retirement? Like, as like in... old person. Like, hey, Shimon Blue Eyes! No, probably not. Ah. No. If it's still kicking around when I have grandkids, I'll probably crack out, oh, yeah, crack fuck, out the starlights. Fuck yeah, but... That's a long time from now. It is a long time from now. Like, I don't think physical cardboard will exist anymore. Who knows? It could be like this IP we all play virtually. Imagine that. Just like, it gets to the 2053 WCQ finals, like and they're rolling out all these, um, like, kids that are on, um, like, esports teams, and then it's just you, me, and Bragg in our With little walkers. <laughs> <laughs> Still flipping skill dreams. Because it's still legal. <laughs> Everyone else is going to be in the brains. Yeah, they'll all be in the brains. We'll be standing the in front of them. Just like, <laughs> I play this. Look I... at monitor to see what they did. <laughs> they, <laughs> they summon Sky Striker card. Ah, I expect it. <laughs> still here. It's still going. Um, next question comes to us from, again, 6 r 6 do you think Pod Prosperity should get a common structure deck reprint, no. or should it be in Battles of Legend as a super or ultra? Don't ever reprint it ever again. You don't have it too bad. <laughs> I can see it maybe doing an OCG and getting like limited at some point. It's so stupid, man. These bear lists are getting dubbed with the amount of generically random cards that it's hitting. These cards shouldn't be on the ban list. They form the structure fundamentally of Yu-Gi-Oh. Desires should be a three. Oh, yeah, it's still a two, isn't it? Yeah. Lol. It's dumb. A little bit. Um, but yeah, reprint it in the high rarity prints. Like, that card looks nice and deserves to just be in nice rarities. Like, I feel like a common of that card would look disgusting. A collector's rare would be nice. Yeah, collector's rare would be nice. But that involves you printing it as an ultra rare. Or a rare. Or... Find a way to reprint it, but just as a secret rare. Put it in Battles of Legend, because that has secret rares. Make it a secret rare in there. True. I don't, don't give a shit if the secret rare is easy to get. Just make it look nice. It's a nice looking card. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Just make it cheap. I just want to play bad decks with it. I don't want to have to pay $300 for a playset. Ah, oh, pay $300 for a playset. It's a good card. Nah. I really There's have literally, like, no decks that I would ever run it in. It's one of those cards that I'm really one. happy with my investment. Any card now that says pot of and is playable, um, just fucking Generally whatever speaking. price it is at launch, just pay for it. 
Generally speaking, money. yes. It's worth it. Like you'll get your use out of those cards. Next question. Uh, last question, actually, uh, comes to us from Tuesday's Noob. How many people would stop listening to the podcast without the opening music? What? How many people would stop listening oh. to the podcast without the opening music? It, you would, viewer number 78. <laughs> it's funny. Um, a while back, we were concerned about uh, potential copyright striking, striking from uh, the original artist or composer of the like 8-bit one that Kenny we used. Kenny Loggins? No, no, no. The 8-bit one that we used specifically. Fred Loggins. Shut up. Anyway, we're worried about that. So we're going to commission Loz to do a cover for us. And that way, it'd get around those problems. Um, but it never happened. Because we don't make enough, uh, yeah. or any money, actually, off the content that we are currently it creating. It also doesn't run for more than 15 seconds, so it doesn't show up on most bots. There is that Also, too. the wavelength changes, because I downplay it. So it starts playing, and when we start talking, it nerfs. Ah, uh, okay. So, like, it doesn't detect on audio, you on, do like, the, automatic you detection. You do the thing that you do on Instagram and TikTok, where you change it enough that it's no longer the, like, yeah. one that they find. Yes. The, mm. the bots can't hear it. Um, but yeah, it does raise a good point. Um, as I've mentioned a couple of times in the last couple of podcasts, I would really like to get up to 1,000 subscribers. Jake, stop saying that. The sub count's going down since you started saying that. What do you mean? We've lost four subs this month. That's all right. They weren't here. They were never here. They were bots. They're trying to find us for copyright, and they failed, so they went away. Anyway, um, yes, as I said, we'd really like to get to 1,000 subs by the end of the year. So if you are listening to us and you haven't subscribed, please jump on and subscribe. You don't have to watch us. just need you to subscribe. Okay. Uh, but that does conclude us very much for today. Thank you all very much for listening and watching. Uh, if you are listening to us, feel free to favourite. If you're watching on YouTube, again, like and subscribe. Jump into our Discord, ask us some questions. Predictions we... as to what the best deck is. In the Discord. Yeah, jump into the Discord, let us know what you think the best deck of this upcoming three months of uh, three skill drain and two lightning songs will be. Uh, and we will catch you all next week. Peace. <laughs>